Gotta do my thumbnail. Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. My name is Taylor, if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we get into affordable beauty tips and synthetic wig reviews. This is a synthetic wig, but not a review. Today we are doing a vlog. I have not done a vlog in a very long time because it's kind of not the focal point of my channel. I'm on a, I'm a beauty girl, so you know, that's what I do. But however, this is beauty related. I wanna go, I wanna take you all with me to the largest beauty supply store to hit Central Florida in a while. I don't think it's the largest beauty supply store in the country, but however, when I heard beauty supply store and I saw the word large, I felt like that's an abundance for me to go and do a little haul. So if you're interested in seeing what this store looks like what it has to offer and what I collect then keep on watching gotta do my thumbnail hey love so i am back and i am in a different environment and this is different from the way that i started the video that day that i went to the beauty supply store there was a lot y'all i didn't immediately go to the beauty supply store i went to eat first and then I, I just went all around the world before i got to the beauty supply store and when i got home i just felt drained i felt pooped for lack of better words and I didn't look my best. I didn't look good like how I'm looking now. By the way, this is a synthetic unit that a review is going up of if you're interested. I wanted to come on here looking presentable, looking fresh, just so I can show you all some of the products that I picked up, let y'all know why I picked it up and so forth. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you all is this floral shower cap. So I feel like you can honestly never have too many shower caps. And honestly, if you are, an, you know, a black woman, I feel like you know that the, the shower caps tend to stretch out after a while, the elasticity of it. So you always end up needing a new one because after a while, it'll start to get too big for your head. At least that is my experience with shower caps that I've owned. The one I have currently is okay. My boyfriend gave it to me, but he has locks. So they were intended for his locks. I did get an extra large one just to prepare for when I get braids, but I only really get braids when I go on vacation but I still got it anyway. And I think that's all the sizes they had. The shower cap is in this pack is not purple. Like this is actually like an orange and blue, but I still thought it was cute to get a floral because I think I've never had like a design on a shower cap. I've only had a color, like a solid color. So I thought that she was just amazing. The next thing that I got was this uh, cheetah print rat tail comb. I needed a new one because the one that I had been using currently that I picked up from the beauty supply store last time, I accidentally set a hot comb on it and it burns some of the teeth of the comb. So I'm not always able to use this comb to actually run it through any of my units or even my real hair. So I had to purchase another one. I mean, I still keep it for the, the tail purpose, but I wanted one that is multi purpose like multi-useful so i went ahead and bought this one uh, this is actually by kiss red by kiss i'm super interested in the kiss brand in general and i have some kiss content coming up so stay tuned but i just love how like diverse i love how large the brand is and how it really encompasses like all things beauty which is what we do over here on this channel so i got this leopard comb they had different designs as i believe i demonstrated in the clips but the leopard one was just calling me um so i decided to just go with it next things that i got were some even products y'all know i swear by even lace adhesive because to me of the you know years that i have been installing units from human to synthetic 
This is the only spray that I have found is really good for me, specifically this black can. So I actually upgraded myself. I had a can in this size. I saw they had this size, so I went ahead and got this so that I could, you know, have more usage out of it because this is really my go-to. I typically, I have all the colors actually, but black is my favorite. I feel like the black one is the, the strongest one. Um, and the one that is like, once you get it underneath your lace, your lace ain't going nowhere. So that's why I got a bigger one on the lace one. And I wanted to try the gold one because I've never seen the gold. Well, that's not true. I saw that the gold one hit the market and then different people were saying they saw this in their beauty supply stores. Uh, and I saw that they had it. I was like, okay, I'm going to try this one as well. But I got a smaller can to test it and see if I like it. Because if I don't like it, it's just going in the even graveyard. It's just going in the hairspray graveyard. I'll, you know... You know, I always find a way to repurpose things. I don't believe in wasting money, but I decided to go with this one. In addition to even products, I also picked up another lace tint. I didn't see a, I don't think they had bigger sizes of the lace tint because I saw this as I got closer to the front. And this beauty supply store, as you can see from the footage, we kind of set up like a Sephora or Ulta where they have all those things as you get to the front, even like a Marshalls. They put all those things as you are waiting in line at the register. So you spend more money because you're picking up all these little things you thought you needed, but you didn't need. Except for in this case, I did need more lace tint. I ran out about two months ago and I definitely see a difference in the way my wigs look. I prefer to use lace tint, especially on my synthetic units because it cuts down so much time on trying to get your lace to blend with your, you know, your skin. It's the most accurate alternative to using bleach. So I need to re-up on this. I use the shade medium brown, but they do have darker ones and they have lighter ones. But medium brown is my preference because that's the one I previously used and it worked. So the next thing that I picked up was the Adore dye. This is the crystal clear dye. And of course I got the silicone mix to go with it. I saw on TikTok some months ago, the hack to getting like restoring your human hair wig. So like if you have a wig that you wore all the time and it just got really like ratty and matted on you. It's like, it's dull and it doesn't look silky and it doesn't look like you paid a hundred plus dollars for it. I don't know who it was that dropped this hack. I just remember seeing it and saving the video to my favorites on TikTok. And I vowed to look for it. The beauty supply store I used to go to all the time, they never had this, but they always had this. So I didn't want to buy one without the other. And this beauty supply store had both of them. I've never used this method before. So I'm actually, I actually do plan on filming some content showing how I'm restoring one of these wigs that I bought a while ago that is a human hair wig. And I know that's different from what I normally do. But um, I'm gonna be restoring it and I'm gonna be using this combination. I'm excited because I don't always buy human hair wigs and when I do, I try to like invest in good ones and so when they don't, but when things go awry, I just get so, uh. Another thing that I got was this scarf. I could not resist this scarf because of the colors in it. And in fact, I just saw like a jumpsuit on Amazon that I wanna buy that's pink and I can see myself wearing this scarf with this jumpsuit. I can actually see myself wearing this scarf with this wig with the jumpsuit, but I don't mind whatever I choose to wear. I know it's gonna rock it, make it look amazing. But I have lots of little scarves like, well actually I don't I have a few little scarves like this that I've just picked it up from random places like the flea market. Wherever I see a scarf like this and if the pattern catches my eye, then I always make sure to grab it. And then as time goes on, I may not use it for like casual styling purposes. I'll probably end up using it to tie my hair up before I go to sleep or something like that. But that's why you buy these type of things because it then becomes like the sisterhood, the trial and scarf. Everybody in your family and your friends use it when they come over and spend the night and you may you never see it again. But in this case, I bought it for fashion purposes until I no longer want to use it for fashion. So another thing that I picked up are some shears. So I never actually really had like a pair of shears that I purchased. Like I had borrowed shears, well, took shears from my father because he like had like a whole kit to be like his own barber basically and he had some some scissors that I thought were sharp enough for me to cut hair when it's time to do that but I decided to buy myself some actual shears and this is also by the red I don't know this says red premium and I don't know if this is the same red by kiss like the rat tail comb that I picked up but if not I brought another red product and this time I bought the shears. These are really heavy, so they feel like they're quality. I hope they are. I am not the best at cutting hair, as you all know. Um, I do what I can. I can cut a bang on a curly wig. Um, and I'm trying to get better at cutting layers. When I tried to cut layers last time, I think I was not as successful as I, I have liked to be because I didn't have actual shears. I was using like a razor comb, and they actually say the best way to cut 
Layers is with shears, so I'm probably gonna try this out again. Maybe these shears will come through for the kid, but I picked these up and I just got a classic color because I think they didn't have like anything fancy anyway, but I just decided to go with it. Also, it might've been that price tag, honestly, because I was actually not trying to run up a check in the beauty supply store. I also ended up getting this cuticle pusher from Kiss. It's also a cuticle trimmer. I don't think I'm gonna really use a cuticle trimmer part. I actually have like a electric e-file that kind of gets rid of the dead skin in my cuticle automatically so and I just I really freak out about having scissors close to the you know the skin around my my nail bed I don't know I just I really don't like manicures personally so I probably won't use this end of it but I'll probably use this end of it because I actually been needing like a good cuticle pusher for when I'm doing my press lines because I feel that's key in getting them to last long and not lift. I have been noticing some lifting, so I'm hoping that this cuticle pusher will really help to push that skin back so that I can really get that nail right in there. All right, so the last couple things that I got are these lashes. You know, you can't go to the hair store without lashes. So I picked up some lashes that I felt were like fluffy, but getting kind of natural. So on camera, these are looking extremely huge, but I actually have small eyes, so I always end up cutting down my lashes to a very small length. So probably like, yeah, you see the other side of this lash? That's probably how much I'll end up using if they come out right. This is by the brand Mystic Lash, and this is the Magic Collection. I've never heard of Mystic Lash, but do you really need to hear of the brands at the beauty supply store? No, you just trust it because it's in the beauty supply store. That's it for my haul from the beauty supply store. I wanna get into that store in general. This store is located in Orlando, Florida. It's one of the new beauty supplies here. I mean, there's so many beauty supplies in Orlando that you can choose to go anywhere, but this one was actually very huge. As you can see from the footage I included, the area that I was most impressed with was their wig area because they have so many synthetic wigs in the store. I hear so often, and I experience this myself too, of not being able to find these, these wigs that are so popular online in the store. They have majority of the units, even some new units in the store, like the, the unit Bexley that I just reviewed um, a few weeks ago, I don't remember, but shameless plug, go ahead and watch that. Um, they had that unit in store and I was pleasantly surprised because that's actually not something I've ever experienced in my history of visiting beauty supply stores. And ever since I got into synthetic wigs, I've actually never been able to find any of the popular ones in the store. So that one is a good source. Um, they definitely had a lot of the essentials, a lot of the products that we use on a daily basis with styling hair, you know, from hot combs to the silicone mix like I showed you all, bleach, um, all the all the kiss and adore me hair color, hair dye that you can find, ones that people normally use when they do the watercolor method. All in all, I was just actually totally impressed with this beauty supply store. There's only a few things we didn't have that I like, but it was no huge deal in comparison to going to beauty supply stores and they have nothing. I do want to say though about the synthetic units that were there is that you will notice the significant difference in the prices. It is a lot more expensive to purchase those synthetic units in the store. Like some of the units that I personally have in my collection that they had in the store were 60 plus dollars and I only paid 40 dollars or 40 plus dollars whatever the case may be. It is definitely cheaper to buy online but it is an option to go in beauty supply stores like that if you if they're all sold out in line and you really want the wig so you go in person to buy it it is your choice inflation has impacted everything in life now that's all i have to say about the products that i bought in the store itself well the store it will be linked down below and if you like this video and you like the style that i did i tried to make it a vlog but i wasn't that successful so if you did like the vlog kind of aspect to it um give it a thumbs up definitely comment down below definitely subscribe for more if you comment let me know if you like that if not i won't do it i was just trying to give y'all something different give it a thumbs up subscribe and check out some of my other wig reviews affordable beauty content your girl does nail content as well so if you're interested in that then keep watching yeah, just keep watching girl just keep watching just click on the videos that pop up next in the recommended yeah thank you all so much for tuning in and watching this video hope you enjoyed it love you stay beautiful and stay safe <laughs>